What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction and this one we have Smiling Jashankar does namaste in gratitude after being called star in the world in Switzerland. I feel like I was smiled too if somebody called me a star in the world. Uh, before we dive into this video, if you guys have it to enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to uh, support the channel by becoming a member, just smash that join button down below. And let's dive right in. You are a star in the world. And uh, I trust the gratitude. Yeah, you are. As a career diplomat, when did you see a significant change in India's foreign policy as India rises? Uh, that's a, that's a, you know, it's not an easy one because it wasn't a single, single issue. Uh, you know, 19... 92 was a very difficult year for us because we were looking at a very major economic crisis uh, and many of the reforms that we did then uh, I think uh, served us very well. Uh, then I would move to 1998 which was for years we, we had this you know uh, ambivalence um, I would actually say the ambivalence was really indecision uh, on mm. becoming a nuclear weapon power. I think it was important that we cross that Rubicon because today uh, in many ways it, it enables us to deal with you know competitive forces in a much more uh, confident and uh, assured uh, manner. I would say thereafter it's been uh, very much more evolutionary you know it's, it's hard to say that year there was a decisive change. But all in all, to me, the last 10 years have been important and, you know, obviously I have a political partiality in making that statement. But I would still say why I think those 10 years have been important is at home. Uh, we are doing the reforms uh, that we should, not just the ones we must. That, mm. you know, we're not saying our backs are to the wall, so let me do something. Yeah. We are actually doing things, looking ahead, planning for the future, saying, you know, if I put a semiconductor industry in place, it means this. If I do logistics, it means this. If I double the number of, you know, universities and colleges, that gives me a better place. Now, these are not changes which are compelled. These are changes which are strategized. And to me, that gives me a lot of hope about what we can do because I can visibly see our domestic capacities increasing. These... I love that. Uh, I feel like Jashankar definitely is 100% passionate about uh, what he does. Uh, and I feel like he's the perfect foreign minister for India. They couldn't ask for a better foreign minister. And in these past 10 years, I've only started getting to watch uh, videos about India maybe in the past six months. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what all has been done in the past 10 years. But I do know the leadership in place right now definitely has picked India up and put them on the right track and has them on a trajectory to just continue to rise so fast. Uh, and India is looked at as a rising superpower in the world. And it's definitely Narendra Modi's leadership. But man, Justin Carr, uh, I guess the spokesperson he is for India. I know he's foreign minister, but the, I know Modi's the face of India. But Justin Carr is kind of the face of India as well when he's going into these interviews, when he's answering all of these questions and he's answering them so greatly. Uh, anybody who tries to step to him or challenge him, he's putting them in their place. Um, but for the most part, he just kind of he doesn't take BS. And everything is about pushing India forward. And then pushing India forward, I feel like that helps to push the world forward uh, because India is such a great country uh, with so many great relationships that if they continue to rise, they're going to continue to bring the world up with them. So love that. Last 10 years. I don't know how long Josh Ankar has been in power either. But uh, man, from what I've seen from him, he's just absolutely incredible in his position. Uh, and he's perfect for it. External is uh, as the capacities grow, and as you know, with with the change of leadership, I think there's a much greater confidence in actually uh, uh, in in addressing the world. And mm. I would say this today: if you go around the world, let's be honest. In most countries, 
foreign policy is not popular. You know, people don't want to do more. They don't, I mean, uh, when foreign ministers meet, the common topic is how their budgets have shrunk. Okay? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a wow. common gripe of foreign ministers. We have to battle for your budget. Okay? I see the reverse in my country. I mean, there mm. is an appetite to do more with the world. There is a sense of responsibility I'm, to the world. See, that's so, what that's what I love, and that's what I meant when they say when I say as India rises, they will continue to bring the world with them because of their dedication. Yes, put India first. India's your nation interests come first, but they want to do more outside of India, and I find that truly to be incredible. And he, he's just saying the exact same thing that I'm sure anybody who has listened to him already knows. You look, I mean, look at, for example, our first responder uh, operations. I mean, we could take the view saying we are a $3,000 per capita country. So why should I send ships to the uh, Gulf of Aden, you know, or why should mm. I send a responder team to an earthquake in Turkey or whatever, you know, depending on. But there is today, I mean, if I describe to you a sentiment in the country today. In my country today, foreign policy is popular. Dealing more mm. with the world is popular. People Love that. feel both an obligation and a sense of pride. Love that. Uh, about that. And that's for me being evolutionary. But, you know, it's human nature. Every 10 years, you kind of look back and say, okay, where are we compared? And I think to me, that's been hugely uh, encouraging. Well, Minister, it's a privilege to be with you today. It's been fascinating conversation. Thank you for the audience yeah. for your questions. But Mr. Minister, thank you for your answers. <laughs> you are a star in the world. <laughs> and uh, I express the gratitude of all the audience. Uh, yeah, Justin Carr is 100% a star in the world. Um, I love his dedication to India's interests, but I love his dedication to the rest of the world as well. In hearing him say that they just continue to want to do more um, for the rest of the world, uh, I think that's truly, truly special. He said, we, yeah, we could say we're just a $3,000 per capita country, but and not send ships out, not send first responders out to an earthquake in Japan or like different examples such as, but they do because they do care about other countries. They do care about other people outside of India and they do care about the rest of the world. Um, and I know they're the leader in the, um, the solar power initiative. I'm not sure what it's called, but so many different countries coming together uh, on the solar, wanting to get solar power. Uh, and then India being the, at the forefront of it, which is absolutely phenomenal. Wanting to kind of get rid of fossil fuels so we're, we stop polluting uh, and stop destroying our atmosphere, stop destroying uh, global warming, or stop global warming. Uh, yeah, India is just amazing. But that's all we have. If you guys enjoyed that and if you have anything to say about it, please don't forget to get in that comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the next one. I'll see you guys there.